Hi, and welcome back to Chef Maxwell's Kitchen. We're down here in Norfolk, Virginia at the Culinary Institute of Virginia, where we're training the next generation of chefs to cook for you. We've got great Virginia food today. We, we always have great Virginia food, but today is special. We've got potatoes, we've got peas, we've got spinach, we've got Virginia bacon. We even have some farm-raised tilapia from Virginia. Which is, so we're going to combine all of these things into a variation on an African dish, um, which is a fish and potato salad. Right? We're going to start with a bowl, and we're going to add some potatoes. Now, I just cooked these and cut them just like you would for any potato salad. In fact, you're going to recognize this potato salad right, because it's very similar to some of the others. All right. I'm going to add a little bit of vinegar. I like to add cider vinegar or malt vinegar, something a little soft, not white vinegar, right. and toss that around. That helps put some acid into the potatoes as a balance for the fat, because potato salad usually gets mayonnaise, has a lot of fat. All right. Now I'm going to add some mayonnaise to it, good Virginia mayonnaise. All right. Right. Now I'm going to add some peas. Now I've got fresh peas here. These are just, you can, I don't know whether you can hear them or not. Right. They're nice and firm. They're fresh, right out of the thing. I blanched them, which means I dropped them down in boiling water for a couple of minutes and then pulled them out and put them in ice water. It just gets them basically started to cook. But you see the beautiful color difference right, that we wind up with that. You can see the light ones and the dark green ones. That helps with the visuals on the plate. Well, I'm going to put some potatoes in here, some uh, peas in here, right? And I'm going to add some tarragon and some salt and some onions. I like onions. In fact, I'm going to add some green onions too. I'm just going to trim these off a little bit. Right. Let's get a few little cross cuts of green onion. In that goes. Now I'm going to mix these up a little bit just to get some of these vegetables coated. And I'm going to add some mustard. A little bit of Dijon style mustard. Mm -hmm. Get that mixed, mixed up nice. Right. Now we're going to take the fish. I poached the fish. Um, you can poach it in any what the Cajuns call cubion that you want. It's court bouillon, which is a mixture of a of an acid, like a white wine or lemon juice, water, and some herbs. Or you can poach it in a more, um, I'd say, less healthy style. I poach this in fat, which means you can bring the fat up to a low temperature, enough to cook, right around 212, 225, something like that, enough to cook it, but not enough to brown it. And, and that helps retain lots of the moisture in it. So I'm going to take the fish and just crumble that up. Put that in here. Right, now mix this up again. Mix it up, mix it up. Now I'm going to add a little bit of this bacon. I cooked it and crumbled it. And in it goes. We want to put that in last so it stays nice and crunchy when you serve it. Now we're going to get ready to put this on a plate make one of the best lunches you'll ever see right, in just a minute. So we'll be back. I'm going to put some spinach down, and we're just going to have a great lunch. All right, well, we're back. The potato salad has had a chance to set for a little bit. We've got a plate, and I've put some of this beautiful Savoy spinach. Uh, Virginia used to be really famous for its Savoy spinach. There was a restaurant up in New York City called Luchau's. It was a German restaurant, and they wouldn't put spinach on their menu unless they could get Virginia spinach. This was around the turn of the last century. So 
uh, local produce here in Virginia has always been highly reputed among the best in the world. So I'm going to take, put some of these tomatoes down on the spinach. Put that, that around there. Now I'm going to take the potato salad with the fish in it and put a nice heaping helping right there on it. Put that over here. And sprinkle some bacon. And so we've got a nice seafood luncheon, potato salad, spinach, and tilapia. This is going to be a wonderful lunch, and, and it's good, and it's good for you. Remember, here at Chef Maxwell's, we always play with our food, but it's better if the food is safe, fresh, and locally grown. For more delicious recipes using Virginia-grown fruits and vegetables, contact Lisa Lloyd at the Virginia Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services at 102 Governor Street, Richmond, Virginia, 23219. Chef Maxwell's recipes are listed on the Save Our Food website at saveourfood.org.